Hello folks again and uh, today I want to talk about this Telodrone. Uh, I made a review a few days ago, uh, just an unboxing, but I wanted to talk about this drone because it really is an awesome, fabulous drone and uh, for awesome tech for that kind of price, I mean $100 is not a lot for uh, that kind of tech, so uh, because the camera is amazing, uh, it can produce very good photos and uh, quite nice videos um, and uh, the processing, intercore and uh, anything, all the sensors uh, uh, really is not much for uh, that price uh, so just the drone it, it really is made very good and uh, you can see that uh, DJI has put some uh, hands on it so anyway I want to talk about the photo so let me connect the drone to see how it works and what I want to talk about uh, we will talk about uh, the normal and high quality photos uh, because uh, there is an option to select in the app okay let's connect it and right now it should be working yes so here we are in the the app okay no and uh, you can see directly from the drone the picture and now we have here options and we have here more options uh, and here we have photo quality and you can select normal or high uh, till now I didn't find any visual uh, difference in the photos which are uh, select normal or high uh, but uh, the picture size is normal it's, uh, it's the same but uh, it is a little bit bigger picture maybe a few hundred uh, bytes bigger so uh, I will show you the picture that I made with normal and high um, setting so let me check out out of this uh, app and okay we have here photos here I made a few photos really nice photos here you can see very nice and sharp photos with the drone made so yeah if we look here to the uh, preferences and you see here here you have the same pictures is a uh, 8.08 megabyte so here is a 2.3 megabyte and here we have the same picture here 1.96 megabytes so here you can see here is the normal quality selected mode and here is the high quality selected mode so this is the only difference but you can visually see the difference so if we check out on this one the picture is the same this one is the highest quality I think no here is the lowest quality and here is the higher quality but really you cannot tell the difference with your naked eye here is high, high quality and here is sorry the low quality but really it's the picture is pretty much the same but let me check it out it's the resolution is the same Uh, let's take a look the resolution you see is the same on one picture sorry on this picture on 
that picture it's always the same resolution but only a bit different I don't know what is different so I can tell you exactly but uh, definitely it is some difference if you see here uh, maybe where I uh, here I have the same the same photo from the same site uh, showed it so here you can see 1.76 here you can see 0 0.96 so this is uh, same photo on the same place taken uh, but here is with the high settings here is a normal setting so and uh, if you see the picture of the high end it's the same as the low of, as the normal I don't know maybe it is some difference but I can I can tell you I can't see the difference here so if we're talking about this and really cool awesome pictures with a drone <laughs> so you can see here really nice photos nice colors uh, very sharp photos and uh, uh, really um, even every time you make a photo even the drone is uh, a slightly niggling around uh, still can almost all the time you can find a good photo uh, so just awesome awesome drone and yeah here you have directly to the Sun photo one photo and second photo and both are good photos even if you take him directly to the sun uh, to the brightest uh, part and here here have inside still nice photo with the, in the low light still can produce very very nice photos here you can see here is a very very low light so you can see the that is a little bit grainy picture here and here maybe here somewhere i tested with very low light here and you can see a bit of graining but believe me it was not much uh, light in here so still good photos really this drone really can do cool photos and uh, all this tech that it have built all the sensors uh, ir sensors and uh, and the good quality camera uh, very stable drone very stable uh, precise to uh, maneuver it precise to control it uh, really there is not much bad to tell about this drone uh, it still have a i made the update and the last update now in april uh april uh, 2018 and uh, it still got uh, skip framing uh, in a video so but not all the time uh, maybe on a, on a little longer int uh, intervals they uh, it skip the frame maybe it has some connection with the wi-fi uh, when the signal signal is uh, poor or something but i think that uh, it will arrange that in a further update so uh, still till right now uh, it have a lot of uh, problems solved uh, the app and uh, really I think that here is the coolest drone of 2018 uh, it is a small drone you can put it in hand it uh, flies from hand it land on hand uh, it have really awesome features uh, but you probably see this on the, in the other reviews we have here the bounce mode 360 mode, throw and go, 8D flips, uh, up and away, you just click it and the drone goes away to make a photo and then you can click it and come 
back to you, uh, circle mode, uh, and really very useful drone for that kind of price for all this tech, it's really good. And uh, yeah, very nice and precise command. Really, you can gently move it around and I will show you further in uh, further videos how all this goes. But really, for now, I have only good words for this drone. So, here it is for today and see you in next videos. Thank you.